Hello, I'm Ezra Miller, and I'm going to give you five of my style icons and heroes from Anno Domini, the common era of human existence. Number one, I begin with Simon Bar Kokhba, and I'm thinking of the Arthur Zick painting, the wonderful Arthur Zick painting. He's got this beautiful flowing crimson robe. He's sort of wearing a hat like a Roman legionnaire, which I think is cool. He's like appropriating the style of his enemy, maybe. He's got the shield, which is gold, with the Star of David on it, which is super dank. And then he's, uh, he's got the, the green saddle and reins on his horse. So it's like green, crimson, silver in his helmet and parts of his armor and gold. Perfect. This is a moment. Bar Kokhba is serving a look. Let's acknowledge and appreciate it. Number two, moving forward in time, Oscar Wilde. The poet and playwright who said great things like, you can never be overdressed or overeducated. I agree with that. Oscar Wilde was persecuted for being too gay and too fabulous all the time. We praise and remember you in your beautiful, I feel like I'm almost, this uh, Saint Laurent piece is almost saluting Oscar Wilde, the big fur collar. I remember this one picture where he's got that tilted hat, which I just always thought was amazing. Number three, moving forward into the common era, more into the last century, Buster Keaton. You know, they say fashion, what sells the fashion is the face. That's what someone told me as a saying in Korea. Buster Keaton was the hardcore, ultimate deadpan god. He would just do the you know, which can really sell any look. The General, one of the greatest movies of all time. Lots of looks served up. I love Buster Keaton's hat game. Colleen Atwood and I keep trying to get more Buster Keaton hat game into the, uh, the Credence looks. They usually end up getting cut out of the film, often with the note that they look too cool. So, there you have it. Uh, at either number two or number four, depending on how time and numbers work. Jessica Rabbit. My childhood, a uh, very important movie for me was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Massive influence in my life. Uh, my mother always said in this world, people either want to fuck you, kill you, or be you. And with Jessica Rabbit, I wanted to um, have sex with Jessica Rabbit and also to embody and be Jessica Rabbit. She can't help it, she's just drawn that way. I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. One of the most devastating moments of my life was the moment when my sister revealed to me that you couldn't be a cartoon character as a profession, that cartoon characters were drawn and that actors only did their voices. Devastating for me. I'm still not convinced. We'll see what we can do. When I look around, I try to, you know, look for an icon amongst my contemporaries. I have to go with Rihanna. I'm thinking of Bitch Better Have My Money. The video, I'm thinking of the leather hat look. I'm thinking of the, the bandana look in that video. We bow to you, Rihanna. We bow to you, Jessica Rabbit. We thank you for what you have given us. Uh, we thank you for, for this guidance. I thank you for this guidance in my life, how to express and be who I am based on the way that you have channeled the gods, the God,
everything, nothing, the beginning, 